Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Got a question for you folks who watch what we do. And I get a lot of people from all over the world, especially plasters, who say, hey man, Kirk, because of your videos, I'm able to make a good living, put more food on the table. And even from newbies, they say the same thing. And I think cool beans, that's what it's all about. You see that wall there? It looks pretty, doesn't it? You would think we're at Disneyland or someplace like that. We're at a shopping center. I've, I haven't seen a shopping center this cool. Uh, even I, I, I would have to go to Hollywood and probably see a shopping center this cool. It's got everything. When we got here, there was like 400 ducks, but I guess we scared the crap out of them, so they took off. Anyway, what would you, uh, my fellow contractors and plasterers out there, what would you use to fix that wall. It looked like the ducks thought that wall was made of popcorn and after 30 years they chewed it all up. Dogs, cats maybe, maybe possums, raccoons, I don't know. We get 105 degrees here, month at a time. Then it gets real cold too, freezing weather. That whole wall there with the water cascading over it with that infinite pull, destroyed it. So I'm curious what the average person would use. I'll tell you what we use in the description, but a lot of folks say, well, Kirk, I would have done this and I would have done that. Jason has got another video coming out to show the whole process of what we've done here. But for this video here, we just want to show the one material we use because it's an acrylic. And I used it 25 years ago in Tiburon on a big house that made the cover of a magazine. And I typed that in because I wanted to see if I could find that magazine. That house sold for $18 million. And I thought, really? I don't think I want to live in a house that sold for that much. That'd be too much work. Anyway, the product we use here mainly stucco flex. It is an acrylic. My buddy Dan done a lot of videos. He shows it in a lot of different ways, like using a basketball, putting it on it, running over it with a truck. Mighty cool. We're showing you the real way instead of uh, all those uh, cool little videos he's done. Keep watching and you'll see how we do this. Okay guys, it's been a couple weeks since we've been back here. Now we're applying a primer and then we're going to use a hand hopper and spray on a dash finish. We are using Stucco Flex. Why? Because I'm responsible for this product. And this is going to get cascaded with waterfall into infinite pull. So we have to have one of the best products known to man, sold worldwide, and it's actually architects, engineers, and developers use this on many high rises. You guys see a building that 30 stories high, two blocks long, more than likely it's stucco flex. So this stucco flex product here, like all of them, you got to use the primer that's recommended by it. And so because this is new right here, uh, we just shot this on a couple weeks, we are applying it heavy, and then we're going to apply the primer over the entire thing once this is done and when we are done with that we're going to show you how we apply this stucco flex and again the stucco flex there's a lot if you go online and you type in stucco flex you'll see a lot of videos where the guys have sheets like this and um, they'll flex them like this this is not stucco flex you see how that cracked stucco flex will bend because it's a hundred percent acrylic uh, a lot of a lot of companies put silica sand and polymers, uh, they don't do that. They use marble uh, aggregate, and so it doesn't rust. There's so many benefits, uh, I couldn't even fill this video with why we're using this. Um, I've got to guarantee this for 20, 30 years, so I'm going with the best there is. Anyway, what Dan and I, Lou, and my other buddy over there are doing is we are priming this. This is just stage one. We're in the hot sun, so this primer is sucking up quick, and when we get to everything primed, can you see it all? When we get everything primed, then we're going to dash it. Then we're going to come back and we're going to uh, do these half rounds here with another uh, Stucco Flex product. We'll show you that part when we get to it. Okay, guys, we'll show you how to do the dash now. Dan's going to give me some mud. And earlier I said this was a 100% acrylic. Jay corrected me because he's a licensed Stucco guy too. It's, yeah, it's 100% acrylic. Acrylic polymer. I forgot about the polymer. It has about a third more polymers than anybody else. Uh, okay. So, what we're doing is dashing. This, you cannot stay clean, guys. 
People say, hey, Kirk, you stay pretty clean. Nobody stays clean dashing. Dashing is messy work. I've dashed whole houses by hand. I've dashed whole houses with a hopper. So this right here, piece of cake. And when, when, when I start to go high is when I, the hopper starts to go down. Here's a tip guys, now that the hopper's going down and you don't want to burn all your strength out, now you can do the top. Because there's hardly any cement left in it. And there is no finish that I'm aware of that looks more like traditional stucco than this stucco flex. It is the best elastomeric finish there is. See how this works, guys? Pretty simple. Just generally I'll do three coats, but because I've already got my color coverage blending one into another, I'm gonna do two coats. See, again, now it's almost empty. That's why I'm gonna do my top here. I don't wanna lift up a whole hopper for us like 80 pounds. All right, Dan, get some more mud. I want to go ahead and finish uh, most of this side off, then I'll come back and show you the second coat. All right, guys, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing to it, the second coat now. I'm good, I'm, first one is for color coverage, mainly, and for strength. Now I'm just giving it the exact same texture. Then we're gonna rip off the plastic, and do the red. All right, guys, we have, this is our fifth bucket of mud. Jay and I had a little inside bet there. He said I'd use four, I said I'm gonna use five. And he said, well, how, how thick are you gonna go right here? And I thought, water's gonna be cascading down here and just pulling this out. It pulled out the last product. I don't know if it lasted 30 years, I doubt it, probably 10, and they had to redo it. My stuff's gonna last 30, because this stuck up like, is some hard stuff. So I'm going to finish this out. We're going to allow this to dry. We'll take this off. We'll finish this inside. And we are almost done. All right, guys. Let's we'll show you what we've done here. Uh, we've done the reverse. We covered the outside and dashed on the inside. This terracotta, that's what they originally had. We just spruced it all up. Don't go away, guys, because Jason and I are going to come back here and show you the pond. By the way, guys, Jason makes a couple bucks on these video, but me, I don't make any money, but I get something that's far beyond measurement in money, and that's recognition. Anyhow, Jason signed us up for Amazon Affiliates now, which means you can go on either one of our websites and or the description of all the videos, a little pop-up thing there, and he has put links to all the tools we purchased. I do this actually because I love doing this stuff. I know the answers to almost all of those 25,000 or 30,000 questions folks from YouTube has asked me. So we want to share where we get all the tools with you folks and hopefully I can make a couple bucks on that too. Once again folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below and also if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk and Jay. We thank you for watching and from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.